Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. We made it to 2021. 2020 is over, and uh, I'm just ready to start a new year. This roundup's gonna be a little bit different than the normal roundups. I just wanted to take a minute and look back at all the things that I really liked coming out of 2020. Not all the things, but a, a couple of things I just wanted to call out and just bring back and reminisce a little bit about 2020. I know during the year, I even as I was reviewing items, I looked at it, I'm like, wow, that came out in 2020? I was like, that seems so long ago. Uh, but it was it was amazing to see all the great stuff for Power BI that came out in, in 2020. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll just give a quick update on the Gyna Cube items, what we're looking at for 2021, if you're interested in that. Also, if you are a content creator, check out the secret link down in the description below. It was inspirational. I loved it. And it kind of juiced me up and got me ready for 2021. So hopefully you will like it as well. So if you're doing blogging videos, whatever, check it out. Now of all this talking, let's get into the roundup. If you've listened to me over the last couple of months, you'll know that two of the big items that I was really excited about we're first off the direct query for Power BI data sets. So this is live connections, merging models together, the update to composite models. That was outstanding. I think it really takes things to the next level. I'm really excited to see what folks are going to do with that and what that's even gonna look like from a performance perspective when we start looking at large models and things of that nature. So I think some of the aspects of that are still waiting to be seen. We, we need to see some things get implemented and see what that looks like, uh, but it is an amazing feature and I'm happy to see it come out in, in public preview and hopefully you've had a chance to play around with it. Another item along with that, that you absolutely know that I'm excited about is premium per user. And this just enables a lot of businesses to be able to take advantage of premium features without the heavy cost of premium per uh, premium capacity itself. Obviously, we still don't know the price. One thing I'm looking forward to in 2021, obviously, is that information. Hopefully, we will see that here in the next couple months and we'll be able to dig into it better and hopefully everyone will really see the value in it. Uh, it's what I'm hoping for. One of the things that happened in 2020 that I was excited about and I'm eagerly waiting to see what else comes along that front from a Power BI perspective is the integration with the Microsoft stack itself. So we saw things like Azure Synapse Analytics. We just saw the announcement for Azure Purview and some of the data catalog items that are gonna be coming in 2021, which is gonna be awesome. And one of the big things that we saw last year were updates to Microsoft Teams integration. I know, especially with 2020, a lot of folks were using collaboration software, whether that was Microsoft Teams or other third-party items like Zoom and things of that nature. Teams itself, Power BI is definitely in the forefront. And if you work in Teams, now Power BI is there with you with the addition of the new uh, app, personal app that you can pin to the left side, but there were other items as well. So we got an update to link previews. We got the new tab that was available as well. So those were all things over the course of 2020 that were updated from a team's perspective with Power BI. I'm sure there's gonna be more to come as well as that integration deepens between the two. And then hopefully we'll see other things from an office stack and continued integrations from an Azure stack perspective as well. So it's just exciting to see the Microsoft stack light up with Power BI. Another item I was really uh, kind of like waiting for, a lot of folks wanted it. Some of the customers I talked with also were really wanting this capability. And it was a journey through 2020 as well. This is the ability to export to PDF for Power BI reports. So we always had that for paginated reports, but the ability to do that from within inside of Power BI for Power BI reports themselves is honestly, it's a it's a critical item for businesses. They, they want to be able to do that, especially for executives or just for whatever processes that they have. And again, this was a journey through 2020. This started with the export APIs that were available for you to do this. Then the Power BI team came out with the updates to Power Automate. And so linking in those items to more easily work with those APIs, because not everyone's a developer. And then right at the end of the year, we saw that the 
subscription is a premium. It has to be backed by premium capacity. Pretty sure, maybe correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure premium per user can take advantage of this as well. It is a premium item and you can now do that from a subscription perspective as well, which was the big item that a couple of my customers were really looking for. So I'm, I'm very happy to see that that came out within the 2020 timeframe. Don't forget that July marked the five year anniversary for Power BI itself. Five years, that's insane, right? And so we had, Patrick and I took place in the five year thank you event for Power BI itself. So I've got a link in the description below to that video. You also see it above and you can just relive that a little bit. It was fun to just hear from the product team itself. We tried to engage with folks in the community and it's just always fun to celebrate that milestone. And it has been a journey for sure through 2020 and uh, continued hopefully for many years to come. And then also the team put out a blog right on January 1st just another video that I'll have linked above and below just thanking the community from the Power BI team itself. It's it's fun to watch. So if you've got a few minutes, it's not too long. Check it out again. Links to all items that I've talked about are in the description below. If you do want to go back through and take a look at some of those, I just scoured the Power BI blog just to try and even remember where those time frames were. But you can check that down in the description below. I said at the beginning, I wanted to give an update just from the guy in the cube side, just so you know what we're going to be doing in 2021. Full transparency in 2020, Patrick and I kind of took it easy, right? We didn't push things the way we wanted to in the beginning of the year. Uh, once everything hit, uh, it just kind of, we just kind of focused in on the important things and didn't push too hard on other items. And one of the things we started in 2020 were the live streams. We're going to continue to do that. We love doing live streams. We're going to look at maybe how to change it up a little bit. We've been doing the Q and a live stream since February and maybe if there's other content you want to see, if you're more interested in longer form content, like maybe like an actual presentation type item instead of just Q and a, let us know in the, in the comments below and just give us your thoughts on that because that's it's something we're interested in. The Q and A's have been going great, uh, but I'm just interested to see if other folks maybe want to see something else. The other thing we're going to look at is courses, right? So we did put out a blueprint course. So if you're beginning your Power BI journey, definitely check that out. I'll have a link down in the description below. We are going to be updating that course. It needs an update. And so that is the first thing we're going to be working on in 2021. And then we do want to make more courses, right? So this is something Patrick and I talk about it a lot. We wanted to do it in 2020. I we're not lazy, we're efficient, but in this case, eh, we might've been a little lazy and we didn't push on the course stuff the way we wanted to. In 2021, we are going to do it. We're gonna have new courses come out that are just things that folks are interested in and will find value in, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to do that. The other thing we're gonna look at doing also is getting out some guides. So just, I'm gonna call them cube sheets that are targeted for specific things that you may want to know that can help you level up your skills in Power BI. So those are things we're gonna be looking at doing as well. And then hopefully, maybe there'll be some in-person stuff in 2021, please. We really wanna travel again and just meet face-to-face -face with folks and hear about your journeys and the, the things that you love about Power BI and just engage with you face-to-face -face instead of just the live stream. So here's hoping that 2021 will be outstanding. All right, I want to hand it over to you. What did you think? What what was your favorite item that you liked about Power BI in 2020? And what are you looking forward to in 2021? Let us know down in the comments below. We want to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.